Welcome back to another episode of Unstable Antics. Here today we're going to be testing out the electrical system for this injector on this Mach 1. Here to do so, we're going to be using this tool. It's actually a Noid light. Um, we're going to go ahead and test this out. So it's pretty simple. All we're going to do is go ahead and pull the clip off the injector and then plug it into the Noid light that fits our application. They have a variety of uh, sizes to fit pretty much just about any application you want to use. We're ironically enough using the GMTBI, which is the part number W85101. So I've already tested the injector themselves using this little tool here, which will send a pulse to the injector. Everything seemed like it was working fine. But I ended up getting them flowed anyway just to verify the injectors were good over at Automods. So I just got them back and just put them back in. And now we're going to go ahead and test to see if the electrical component is actually sending a pulse to that injector. So I've got it hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera over here. We're going to start it up and that light should be blinking. If it's not blinking, it's not pulsing, which is the reason the injector is not going to be working. So we're going to go ahead and give that a shot. So you have your injector wire here. I've already unplugged it. You're just going to go ahead and put these two prongs in. Just like that. It should kind of sit there and float there. And hopefully that's enough light for you guys to see what's going on. And I'll go ahead and start it up again. And that Noid should then light up. We'll see if that other one wasn't super smooth, so we'll see if this one's any better. the injectors and I went down this whole row and they're all working just fine even this number four which is what we were concerned about so now you get a bonus video I'm going to go ahead and test the coil so I've already tested the coil wiring itself and switched popped out coils and still kind of having that issue so what we're going to do is hook up a coil tester to it and then we're going to uh, Go ahead and run that test right now. So after I pull this coil cover off, I'm going to go ahead and pull number four out, and we'll see uh, what that test reveals. We have our coil tester put together. All you do, since they're they're recessed, and then we got this recessed piece, which actually came with the kit, and then we also have our light here. And this is actually going to plug on the end of that coil. So we go ahead and swing the camera on so you get a better view, and we'll go ahead and hook this up and see what happens. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this, pull this coil out by right, just kind of flinging it out here. And then we're gonna go ahead and stick this in right in there like that. And then this just goes on the end of that plug. Just like that. So now we got our light exposed here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the car up and this should all transfer down in here. And we should see this light being lit up. I'm gonna, so now we have everything visible, we're going to go ahead and fire this bitch up and see what happens. 